Hello, hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a relaxing Saturday. Hello, hello. Alright, um, this video might be short, might be long. Who knows? But we're um, going to continue on working on the, the junk journal that I've been working on. And if you're brand new and haven't seen what I'm working on yet, hold on. Alright, it's this beautiful thing, okay? I have completed my first signature, okay? We are now on to the second signature. So you can see it's starting to bulk up, so that's why I decided to put a very wide spine on it. Which I think I need to cover up the spine too, it looks too plain. So I'm working on the second signature and I've done quite a bit of pages in this one so far. Okay. Put this little beautiful piece here and some washi. I'm trying my hardest not to make the second one as bulky because uh, what I've been trying to do lately is I pretty much go crazy on the first signature, like decorate it all I want and then kind of tone down on the second signature. And the last one I barely will do anything in it and then I put together a goodie pack to go inside the journal so whoever receives it um, can decorate their ourselves because I know a lot of people like to do that especially if they're new to junk drilling put this little piece here hold it in frame put a little bit of a peekaboo curtain here you can tell I'm leaving some of the pages pretty blank. Put a belly band here with a book. Now I tried to use that new that new thing that was sent to me by a pen pal. I'm kind of loving it. I still need to play around with it more. It's like a memory keeper's book finding machine. <laughs> and I kind of like I skipped this step. For some reason, I didn't realize it until I was all the way down to the end. <laughs> but I think it's it's unique for a junk drill. And I just put some random pages in there for a writing spot. Yes, 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 I love it. So that goes there. I kept this one pretty simple, so whoever receives it can like decorate it. A little flip up. A little fairy here. Here's a pocket with some goodies in it. Kept it pretty clean. Here's a um, uh, junk mail pocket window. And then so we got that there. There's another pocket, another flip up. And a pocket. So that's what I've got done so far. And I still have this much to go for the second. Yeah. Which I'm going to try to keep the rest of it pretty plain, kind of flat, so it doesn't get too bulky. So I guess we can, I can do a few pages with you. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do some more washi tape on this one. Let's go with... Hmm. What's this? What's this moon fairy on there? So what we're going to do, I think I did washi tape across the top. We're going to do some across the bottom now. Okay, here we go. So what is everybody making right now? Do share, do share, don't be shy. Um, 
Um, I currently have a group swap going on in my Facebook group. It is called Witchy Paper Crafts, which I have created. Um, for those um, sisters that are like-minded like me. <laughs> We like to make things slightly out of the norm from other people. <laughs> so I wanted a, a paper craft group for us. I've tried other people's paper craft groups or other junk journal groups before and um, I love sharing and I love posting stuff but every time I've posted something witchy or wiccan or slightly dark I get judged for it quite a bit so I was tired of that so I'm like heck, heck this heck this and I was like I'm gonna start my own group and so I did <laughs> and I'm gonna put this picture here but let's see uh, I almost want to overlap this Would that be too weird? It's kind of cool though, right? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I kind of like it. It's odd. Like me. <laughs> I just want these corners. I have a fancy edge here. Sorry, sorry, just give them a little fancy edge. Can you see? Then I don't want this butterfly all the way glued down because I'm thinking of the wings. It can be like tuck spots. You'll see. I'm going to glue just the half part down here. Okay. And then put the picture over the top. I think there might be a corner of this picture I don't want to glue down to, just so it's not in the tuck spot way, you know what I mean? Whoa! Okay. Yeah, see? I made sure I didn't glue that quarter down, so it's left. Let's make sure that it's all bossed down. And I'll show you here. Um, see? Kind of like that. Isn't that cool? So it can hang on to something there. Little piece. So this can be a little note card. So let's give it some fancy corners here. So yeah. So this can be a writing spot. And it just will hang on to that. How cool is that? I like that. Okay. Now, is it gonna stay if you open a page though? Cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna glue a pocket there for I like that one, but 
really like this color too. And I think we're going to go with this color because there's already... Yes. Okay. Um, I just didn't like the way this pocket... See how they have this cut here? So when I glued one of these pockets in on the first center, um, doesn't want to stay glued down to the page like right there in that corner and so when you try to stick your um, insert in it wants to like I don't know it was weird I didn't like it <laughs> so I'm gonna try to emboss that corner so I can get a crisp edge there I, th I think just the way they designed it was like they had too much of the corner cut off there and I didn't like it. I know exactly what they were trying to go for, but they just cut it too close. I think that whole like junk journal paper pack was flawed. Maybe it was a misprint, that's why it was so cheap on Amazon. <laughs> Okay, now I can fold this down. Come on. That one folded very funky. Sorry that took longer. Okay. I'm going to try to glue this down carefully. So now I'm just going to hold that down until the glue takes hold. Uh, the back of that one is fairly light. I don't think I have to back it on any cardstock. So we're just going to slide it into the pocket when I'm done here. I'm just hoping those corners stay down. Okay. Let's see if this will go in. Let's round this corner off here. I don't like pointy corners of things. I've probably said that before, but... Okay. There we go. There we go. It went in. Ta-da! So that was pretty simple, too. Yeah. Normally I would probably put a flower right in the middle of that pocket, but we're just going to leave it. There we go. Alright. Let me check my time. Oh yeah, doing really good on time. Alright, the next page is this one, and I'm absolutely not going to do anything to it. We're just going to leave it. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and stick that in there. And we're going to do this one next. This is a short... Something just fell. What fell? Papers are falling everywhere. I think after this junk journal is done, I'm going to do some organizing, cleaning. <laughs> Alright, so this is a short page. It's going to have a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. I just showed how um, to make this. Well, I didn't really show it, I explained it on how to make this on my last video. Um, so, I'm just going to glue 
And what I'm going to do to this one is I'm just going to put glue on this back piece right here. Okay. Cuz I don't want I don't want the front glued down. Cuz it's going to be a tuck spot. Okay, so now this back part is glued down and this front part's not. So I could go like this, tuck that right in there, and I'm done. <laughs> Extremely simple, huh? Now, I think I'm going to use that as just a flip out and just, let's see, maybe. Put a butterfly on the edge of that there. Oh, don't slide. Very simple. Now at this point, I'm trying to use up paper scraps. This is made for my paper scraps. This corner is made for my paper scraps. And I'm trying to use up my stash too. And I have a huge amount of different types of butterflies. <laughs> I love butterflies. And so I think in the last five years, I've collected a lot of different butterfly, you know, die cut things and and I haven't been using them like I should so I'm like it's time to use my stash stop hoarding hoarding is not healthy <laughs> okay so I think that's gonna be good so I can go in the center and the next page is another plain white one. Um, I kind of... Hmm. I almost want to spray this one. The sprayer on this purple one is broken. And guys, I love, 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 love these sprays. So if you ever want to see me anything, I get, it doesn't have to be this brand specifically. I like this one because it has a shimmer to it. And I love shimmer or anything glittery. <laughs> but if you haven't used sprays before, oh, they're amazing. Amazing. You need to try them. This, I'm just gonna try not to make a mess everywhere and just get it on the paper. Like I said, the sprayer to this one is broken, so I just try to flick it on. And I'm just using, I think this one is just printer paper. So this is going to soak through to the other side quite nice and I don't have to worry about decorating it very much. Okay. Grab that one. And we're just going to let that dry for a second. Where else did I get it? Where 
Let's see. As it dries, it kind of changes. Like it was very dark when I first like splattered it on, but as as it dries, it like you can see. Very very nice. And I didn't put a whole lot on. I just wanted to break up that white. And you can see that I went through the side. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay, now let's put just a little something. I think I'm going to put a little sticker in the corner here. Make sure it's dry. Put a little sticker in that corner. See my sticker? Now, believe it or not, I found those at Dollar Tree. Yeah, it was. Oh goodness, it was last month when I found them. When I found these stickers at Dollar Tree, and I was shocked that there was something like that there because I've never seen like really cool stickers. Those were there, and. These. These were at Dollar Tree too. So, um, this got dust in my head. I need a dust I'm trying to find, I don't know, can you find the product by using this number? Can you guys see that? Uh, but yeah, not cool. I fell in love with those. Oh, here's the, the other number here for this one. And hopefully you can pause and, I don't know. Or just hop on the Dollar Tree website and type that name in to see if they're still carrying them. Um, if you try to order them on the Dollar Tree website, you have to order in bulk. That's the only downside, but if there's something I really love and want lots of it, I have ordered in bulk before, like the glitter tool. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my video yet, where I tell you I just ordered my Halloween glitter tool in bulk, you're going to laugh at me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be cutting out. There's this little butterfly tab thing I'm cutting out. I'm going to put in that corner. So that's what I'm doing right now. This little butterfly folds in half so you'll have a butterfly on both sides. It's pretty cool. Sorry that I'm so quiet. I get really like focused when I'm doing fussy cutting. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to try to fold that in half carefully. Okay, so there's this little piece here. 
And then I'm not sure. I kind of like just to glue it on halfway. So the butterfly looks like it's coming off the page. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. Sideways like that. There we go. Oops. Then I might just leave this page blank. There we go. Because I'm trying really hard not to make things too bulky. Alright, I think I'm going to leave you guys there for today. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, if you want to share your arts and crafts with me, okay, tag me and I'll come look. <laughs> all right, bye.